going on guys? T2RX6 here back for another third party review and today we're going to finish out the Causality uh, Fans Project toys with CA12 Last Chance otherwise known as Dead End and my absolute favorite of the set. I just love how this guy turns out. I believe he is a Ferrari Enzo. Um, I can't quite remember the back end if that's correct or not. But whatever. He looks fantastic just all the way around and dead end was never one of my favorite stunicons but man he's knocked it out of the park here well fans project has and uh yeah this is by far my favorite stunicon rolls really well absolutely love them weapon store underneath just like this you can kind of see the robot a little bit just like every other one but really how can you complain so let's bring in the other members here actually Let's bring his G1 self in. And you can see colors are fairly close. This one's a little bit darker, I would say. But overall, everything just looks better. The stripe looks nicer and everything like that. So, yeah. Really like this guy. Bringing in the other members. Here's uh, Drag Strip slash Downforce. And uh, Wild Rider slash T-Bone. And then breakdown slash car crash. And uh, yeah, they look really good as a full set. We just really badly need to hear about this guy. Come on. Where is he? Oh well. So before we get to transforming this guy, as usual, I took my time to transform everything else. And let's give Downforce here another strike as uh, his windshield cracked on me while uh, twisting it around. So, Downforce, you have officially solidified your place as the worst of the new stunicons. I'm going to have to see if I can get that fixed somehow. Anyway, let's get on to last chance slash breakdown, or uh, dead end. So, transforming this guy is not too hard. We're going to take the guns out of his storage here. Like so. I find transforming him back to his, uh, via or his, yeah, his vehicle mode is a little bit more complex, but put the gun together the reason is is because the way all these arm pieces fold up like you have to turn this the right way so this thing can fold so you can make this kind of like an s shape the whole way around and it can be a little bit tricky so let's start with the legs of course very easy just disconnect it and before you flip that around take these back pieces and these can be kind of a pain yeah they flip up like so I found when you put them down you have to kind of push forward on it while you're turning them down and they'll actually fit right on in but they're definitely a little bit difficult the first time you do it. So take these once you have that out of the way you can take this and rotate it all the way around because those are going to basically make like knee guards. We'll come down here we'll split the legs and then the bottom piece here is on this joint that lets it pull out and forward a ball joint just to give them kind of a foot and then you can take this piece and put it back there for just extra stability uh, you don't really need it you, he can he's capable of standing without them if you really want to it's a matter of just balancing them but uh, it does kind of fill it out a little and gives them a little more of a heel spur so I put them out there they don't bother me at all looks like that from behind so now we'll come up to the top of the car here and we'll just kind of split the arms like so. And he does have a little bit of complexity to him because this the way this chest assembly works. And usually I keep this gun handy because you're going to find you need it. So come down here and we'll disconnect the arms from the side panels like that. Which is going to let us basically spin this all the way around. So you can see that it that piece of the car will go sideways now and that has to go up and down and then it's just a matter of figuring out his joint system so everything looks pretty good like so so we'll do that again on this side bring that down get this stuff out of the way so you can flip this all the way figure out his joints and where's his finger there we go thumb is in place so we got that set so now what I really like to do here is uh, 
I take this gun and you can kind of grab him by the head here if you can. My finger is too big to get in there so what I do is take his gun and just push it in his back because you can see the um, piece that controls the head back there and you just push it all the way up. And we can take his head, we can spin it around to the front here and make sure it's up all the way. Then we'll bring this chest piece down. Now this chest piece can be a little bit of a problem but what we also have to do once we bring this down to make sure we get enough clearance is he's got this interesting slide mechanism here um, that his arms are attached to. It's kind of hard to see but it slides in like that to give him enough clearance to get the hood past his head and uh, I do find that the hood ends up kind of binding up right on these slots but it is supposed to fit into those slots so you just kind of have to push it until it gets in there and makes that little click and then that should allow it well it's supposed to you have these tabs here or holes here and the tabs here that it's supposed to peg into but I never seem to get it to work I mean I've tried and tried and there's no way I'm getting that clipped in but frankly the way it sits it doesn't really matter a whole bunch so obviously I made him look pretty dumb looking while trying to fiddle with that. So let's fix everything up, make him look right. Like so. Cooperate legs. Alrighty. Master of posing, I am not. So now we'll take his gun and we'll give it to him. And he looks pretty good. Let's get a little close up of his face here. I really like his face. It actually looks uh, kind of heroic, to be honest. But uh, he does have a gold face in the G1 toys. So I uh, can't remember if he did in the cartoon or not. But yeah, I really like it. I really like the faces on all these little guys. Every single one of them, I think, is pretty darn good. So let's bring his G1 self on in here. And we can see no comparison in terms of uh, the looks and everything. But uh, it's fun to have the originals hanging around. And I'm sorry, Repro Labels. I know you're making a lot of these tech details to put on these guys. But I just am not digging them on the modern toys here. So let's bring in the other stun cons that we have here. We'll bring in Broken Drag Strip. And Drag Strip is... He's just the worst. I mean, look, he doesn't even want to stand. Awful. Not a very good Toy Fans project. Here is Breakdown. And Wild Rider. Making a completely awesome looking set of figures. Um, I really like all of them. Even, even Drag Strip. I do like Drag Strip, just not as much as any of the others. In terms of preference, first, second, third, fourth. But yeah, they're really worth picking up, and Last Chance is by far my favorite. I think, uh, I don't know, he's just fun to mess with in both modes. He looks pretty good in both modes. Uh, he's a really nice redo of the old G1 toy. Let me put them all out here just so you guys can see them. The only complaint I think I could possibly have about these G1 toys, or the modernization of the G1 toy basically, Breakdown's color is a little bit off, it's a little too white. Other than that, everything else is pretty good. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is Drag Strip, I'm fine with the car they chose. I'm fine with Breakdown's car because it's a Lamborghini. Um, Wild Rider is another Lamborghini, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I would have liked to have seen him be the Enzo with the uh, Deco and then turn this guy into like a Porsche GT 911 or something like that because um, then it's more accurate because Lamborghini, Ferrari, F1 car, Porsche. So that's the only things that I think I would have changed if I was fans project and possibly made a uh, drag strip just a little bit better. So I was taking some pictures of this guy at the end and I realized I've been mistransforming him the whole time. See this awful nasty back here? Yeah, Fans Project thought about that. 
And that closes up and looks much nicer now. Fans project, you think of everything. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to miss that step. So from the front, he looks just a touch different. Um, yeah. Good job, Fans Project. I should have checked the instructions. See you next week.